let's talk about making bank deposits. We have received checks from customers and now we want to lump them together into a bank deposit. To do that, come here under the Tasks pull-down menu and come down to Select for Deposit. This window will display all of our checks and payments that we have received from customers that have not yet been coded to a deposit ticket ID. Let's talk about some of the buttons on the screen and some of the fields. Here we want to choose the cash account that we're making the deposit into and over here is the deposit ticket date. This window here is deposit ticket ID and it is very important. This is how Peachtree will reflect the deposit in the bank reconciliation. So what we recommend is you want to use a deposit ticket ID that is going to resemble the way the deposit will be reflected on the bank statement. Normally your bank will report deposits based on the date the bank receives it. So if we're going to make it to the bank today, March 15th, before 3 o'clock, we would recommend using today's date as the deposit ticket ID. Just like that. If we're going to make it after 3, we'd want to date it for the 16th. Up here is a check all box. We can click on this and this will check off all the deposits. Down here, it tells us what it's made up of. Cash and checks. Now we can simply save this deposit and prepare our deposit slip and go to the bank and make the deposit. Let's look at how this is reflected in the bank reconciliation. Here we pull up the bank account and we come down here to the deposits and credits section. And you can see here's the deposit we made with a reference of 31503. And when we receive our bank statement at the end of the month, this will be reflected exactly the same way on the bank statement, and we can simply click it off as being cleared. This makes our bank reconciliation very easy at the end of the month.